Good morning, Susie Cobden. This morning I wanted to speak about weight loss and our bodies. Now, as you know, our entire reality is a byproduct of our thought. So, real weight loss has to come from loving yourself and wanting to feel good. It doesn't come from resistance, so it doesn't come from pushing away from hating yourself because by doing that, you're fighting against your body and any resistance causes persistence. So through hating your body, you're actually asking for more of what you want because that's where you're putting your focus. So your body is a direct reflection of your mind, um, just as the world is a direct reflection of our thoughts and our beliefs. So. Our world is all connected as we know, we live in oneness. Um, to not love yourself, you're actually rejecting part of that oneness. So by rejecting part of that oneness, you're actually rejecting the whole. Like you can't have an object that you like, say a ball, and reject a certain part of the ball because that is a slant against the whole ball. So when you love yourself, you're accepting of every portion. You're accepting of your habits, you're accepting of your weight, you're accepting of whatever it might be. So just be aware that your whole body, in all its beautifulness, is you. And as you, you're part of oneness. So re to reject part of you, you're actually rejecting oneness, which is a pretty big deal when it comes to your power. You know, that's a part of the basic core ideas, understandings of spirituality. So it's really important to give yourself love and to be understanding of your shape or your condition, both mentally, health, uh, physically, spiritually, no matter what it is, self-love is going to be at the core of the solution and at the core of the problem. So, you know, I um, like to say things like, you know, what would somebody who love themselves do right now or if you are trying to decide what you're going to have for dinner ask yourself that what would somebody who love themselves eat right now and listen to the first thing that comes to your mind and it might surprise you it might not be a salad or something really healthy because you know um, our body calls out for whatever it's needing in the moment and it might be needing something that's you know in a piece of cake or some bread and if we can eat what we eat with love without fear without thoughts that they're making us fat then they're not making us fat anyway so really consider you know what's behind your condition whether it be overweight underweight or another health issue but sit with yourself and ask some core questions about you know why where did this condition come from or how did this condition come about or what was going on in my emotional life around the time that this started. You know, um, quite often, you know, anyone that's overweight will think back and, you know, they may have been going through a traumatic time, you know, when they first started to put on weight. They might be going through, you know, a certain age where society expects women to put on weight, <laughs> for instance. My father told me I was getting pudgy uh, part of middle age spread, he said. So, you know, all of those beliefs are out there and 
It might actually surprise you and give you a laugh to find out what's underneath it. But yeah, explore anyhow, but explore with your heart, you know, sit, sit still and go into your heart space and ask the questions from there, from the expansive wider self and you'll get completely different questions than just asking your mind completely different answers sorry from asking your mind so anyway have fun with that um, it's rainy here today so I'm going to open a book shortly and have a lovely day and we'll chat on the next video bye for now